In this tutorial, you're gonna discover a simple, effective, beautiful art technique which you can use to teach young people about mixing colors. All right? <sighs> Color is brilliant. It brings joy to our lives, it's all around us, and it's one of the things that makes creating artwork so exciting and enjoyable. However, teaching color can be quite confusing and overwhelming, particularly if you go down the rabbit hole of researching on the internet, because you're bombarded with terminology, things like hue and tone and shade and tint, and you just don't know where to begin. But the truth is that as an artist, you don't really think about color in those terms. You think about how you can use color to make great artwork. So the technique I'm gonna show you today is a way that you can teach your pupils about mixing colors together so that they can experience the wide variety of colors that are actually available to them. You don't want people sticking to one type of blue and one type of yellow and one type of red. What you want pupils to do is to be able to make choices about the colors that they use because choices make options and options give them strength to create the pictures that they really want. So where do we begin? Well, probably the best way is to go back to what you would have learned when you were a child about the basic principles of color. So first of all, you have the primary colors. They are red, yellow, and blue. These colors stand on their own. They can't be made by mixing other colors together. They are what they are. However, they're called primary because they are the building blocks of other colors. When you mix them together, you get more, and these are called secondary colors. For instance, red and blue makes purple. Red and yellow makes orange. And blue and yellow makes green. But here's the thing. You don't just get one type of color, you get thousands of varieties. And the activity I'm gonna show you is a great way of helping young people understand and explore this. All right, you're gonna need paper to paint on, some scrap paper to mix the paints, and any two primary colored paints to mix. Draw a line across the middle of the paper. You don't really need the ruler, but you know, it looks nice. Squirt the two paints onto the scrap paper, leaving plenty of space for mixing. Then take the strongest color, in this case it's blue, and without any mixing, paint a single line on your paper. Like so. Then put a little bit of the other color on your brush. The smaller, the better. And start to mix it with your first color. It needs to be really well mixed, so take plenty of time to do this. It won't look like it's made a difference, and this is good. Then paint another line next to the first one. Repeat this again and again, making sure that you mix the same amount each time. You don't want to make big jumps. This activity is all about slowing down and taking care with each line. You're gonna find that your children go into an almost meditative state while doing this, and it's bliss. You will see the color start to change. It's super satisfying and your children will be amazed at all the varieties of color being created. And if you want to extend it further, get them to make up names for all the different shades. Encourage them to be as ridiculous as possible. Okay, so what you can do now is you can click on this box here and that's gonna take you to all my other Art John tutorials. And if you hit this big face here, that will subscribe you to my channel. And when you do, make sure you click that bell logo and that way you'll get a notification every time I upload a new one. All right, 